Currently it is 10 a.m. and I am off to do some shooting with my brother for his Instagram account. Usually around 9 a.m. I come to my desk and start studying until 1 p.m. But today is a weekend, it's Saturday morning and I just wanted to chill, shoot for my brother. So yeah, that's a little change there in my routine, but usually, especially uh, during weekdays, around 9 a.m., I come on my desk and start studying. So I just wanted to clarify that. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajeem Bismillah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim In the name of Allah, the most compassionate and the most merciful Alhamdulillahi alladhi hadana lihada wa ma kunna linahtadiya lawla an hadana Allah Wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in amma ba'd Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Finally back at filming Tafakkur sessions. I really, really genuinely missed filming these and just, you know, talking about Allah's creations and just remembering him with you guys. It means very special to me. However, I must say that I was kind of unprepared for this one because actually this whole morning routine video, I was unprepared for it. But alhamdulillah, it is turning out well. I'm still editing it, but it looks like good. I hope you are enjoying it so far. But for this tafakkur session, I actually am going to tell you guys tafakkur that I thought about and I wrote down a while ago. But still, it has such a special place in my heart whenever I think of this tafakkur that I will be mentioning in a couple of minutes. I just get goosebumps and it really hits different deep down in my heart. So I hope you will like it as well. Before getting onto Tafakkur, I want to tell you guys, after listening to these Tafakkur sessions, please do mention your thoughts down below or any kind of Tafakkur if you have, then please comment it down below. Maybe after a couple videos, I will be reading out your Tafakkur sessions that you will be commenting down below, so it would mean so much to me. Now, I think it's time to move on. Wow, I'm very excited for this one. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know. It's not like my first time doing Tafakkur session with you guys, but... After a long time, it just feels very different. And since like the whole uh, Tafakkur session system of mine is different right now, I feel good. I feel good. Let's get on to it. Today's Tafakkur session is a short one, but I feel like it is very special. It is about unity and togetherness in Islam. Actually, it is the importance about unity and togetherness in Islam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows the importance of unity and togetherness and the beauty of its results everywhere. Now, let me give you a very simple example about the importance of unity and togetherness in Islam. So I'm sure that most of you guys know of this place called Mecca, Kaaba in Saudi Arabia. So now I want you to just close your eyes and imagine. Okay, please close your eyes and imagine we Muslims from all around the world, when we pray five times a day, we pray towards the same direction. And that is Kaaba. You know, we pray towards Kaaba, which means the same direction. So I know when I'm telling this, you might be like, okay, it's, it's not like that big of a deal. But let me go deep down there, y'all. Let me go deep down there. Just imagine like all Muslims from Indonesia, Malaysia, here, from Turkey, from Kazakhstan or... Uh, from European countries, other Middle Eastern countries, India, Pakistan, like literally Muslims from all around the world, whenever they stand up to pray Salah, they pray towards the same direction. Like, can you just imagine how powerful this is? It's, it's crazy, subhanAllah. So this is just like a little example of the importance of unity and togetherness in our religion, Islam. I do have a couple more examples. We will ponder deeply about these examples. So the first one is, um, I have my laptop, you know, I write down all my tafakkurs here in my laptop. So I'm kind of, you know, looking at, at my laptop at the same time. So another example is when we are injured or hurt, all the blood immediately collects on the aching place and reduces the pain and tries to heal it. It's, I don't know, I just get goosebumps. It's subhanAllah, I literally can't describe this whole situation with any other word rather than subhanAllah. Just imagine y'all, like 
we hit our pinky toe or pinky finger uh, at a corner of this table and then we were like, oh my God, it's painting so bad. But at that moment, all the blood in our body, like they meet up at one spot and that spot is usually the aching spot, the spot that is hurting you so bad right now. So here, when you actually think spiritually obviously spiritually deeply about it you can see how like suddenly all the bloods like even it's like a little tiny little uh what you call it um scratch or not even scratch like like this obviously if it will hurt then the blood will be like something was going on guys come come let's let's gather up and let's go on to this spot and they just try to heal it that's something amazing in my opinion another example is the combination of sun rain earth and air to grow any type of flower tree or plants this is also something amazing literally nature showing us the power and the importance of unity and togetherness now here when we look at the situation the sun rain earth and air comes together to grow a simple flower, uh, a huge tree, or any type of plant, right? So if we just proceed into a sand, do you think that can just grow into a tree or any type of plant without the help of sun, rain, earth, air? Obviously not, right? We'll be like, oh, hey, that's impossible. So we can see that when sun, rain, earth, and air unites together, the result is a beautiful flower or a tree or any kind of plant. That's beautiful. Moving on with another example, the appearance of the rainbow in the combination of rain and sun. Another miracle. I feel like everything in this life, in this world, is a miracle. But rainbow is like super, super miraculous. And just with a simple combination, the rain and the sun, that's all. The result is a beautiful rain filled with seven beautiful colors, right? That is powerful, like that's that's unique. When we ponder about it, we can be like, this cannot be a coincidence. Coming to our next example, with the help of sun, the sea, and the clouds, it rains and agriculture is favorable. Now, this is very important for us human beings. Without agriculture, we cannot live. We cannot feed ourselves, we cannot have delicious foods, all the vegetables and fruits, it, it's just very important for us. And if there was not the combination of sun, sea and the clouds, it wouldn't rain. And if there was not rain, then obviously there would not be life. Now let me tell you a, a little story of me this week. This week there was no rain in Istanbul and the weather was terrifyingly good. Like, it literally felt like spring. So may Allah forgive us and bless us with rain because it's still not raining properly here in Istanbul. We are in January and the weather is literally 17 degrees Celsius. That is not healthy, you guys. Two years ago, during this time, I remember it was snowing outside. And I just can't believe, like, literally only two years ago, during these days, it was snowing outside. And a year ago, during these days, the weather was cold, but there was not snow. But today... 2023 it's january it's the first week of january middle of the winter there is no snow the weather is not even cold outside in fact today me running around with this hoodie it's super thick i literally sweated so bad we went through a week without rain and all the masjids in the imam they were praying for rain so may allah accept their prayers and i just can't imagine a life without rain when I am going through a week without rain. It's just very hard. So yeah, this shows the importance of rain. Moving on. So this is a very beautiful example. In fact, I feel like it's one of my favorite ones. Cooking delicious dishes with a mixture of various ingredients. Now, guys, drop down your favorite meal, your favorite dish. Mine, well, I have a lot. I love the Afghan cuisine. So I love the Kawi Palau. I can literally have the Kawi Palau every day not kidding every day so when i just think about this example i don't know i just have this amazing smile on my face <laughs> it's it's beautiful subhanallah so the lesson we can take from all these examples from unity and togetherness comes strength beauty and abundance this is one of the things nature is trying to tell us each time i admire my lord more and more i understand better that the highest praise should be to him. So let's all together say, 
Subhanallah, Allahu Akbar. We as Muslims, all of us, we want to feel the love of Allah. We want to feel his mercy. We want to feel his compassion. And we are like, how can we feel this? We pray to him, my Allah, I want to feel your love. I want to feel your mercy. Guys, Allah literally gave a ton of hints in the nature. So if we really want to get to know him more, if we really want to feel his love and mercy, I feel like, well, in my opinion, we should just look in nature, like look deeply, not only from scientific ways, but also from spiritual ways. Nature has a lot from Allah. It literally has a lot from Allah. It shouts that Allah loves you. Allah has mercy for you. And I felt this more when I was just thinking of these examples, you know, the rain, the sun, the earth, the air, and comes out a beautiful flower. And then the rain and sun comes out a beautiful rainbow. All these examples are from the nature. So I just, I, you know, I just want to go to the countryside and spend the days between the mountains and the greens and just think about all the things nature is trying to tell me, you know, just listen to nature. I'm sorry if I'm like sounding very weird right now, but yeah. So this was today's Tafakra session. Comment down below what are some other examples you want to give about unity and togetherness. It can be from nature, it can be from daily life, doesn't matter. As long as it is an example, it means you just did a tafakkur. And let me tell you some amazing info about this tafakkur. Do you know that Prophet Muhammad وسلم, has said one hour of meditation, which means tafakkur, contemplation, is better than one year of praying. So even you leaving down below a single example of this unity and togetherness is maybe better than a one year of praying. Who knows? I hope this video was enjoyable. I hope you had a good time watching this video. I love you. May Allah bless you and protect you. Ma'asalam. Ma That's what I'm talking like. Ma'asalam. Goodbye.